Tourism on St. Lucia operates in a highly competitive environment. Tourism consultant Dr. James Heppel says various trade shows are planned for the U.S. and the U.K. to continue marketing St. Lucia as an international destination. He says it is important that tourism policy makers make the tough decisions. We've got to do a lot more in terms of increasing awareness of St. Lucia amongst our target market, which is more upscale, but at the same time acknowledging, particularly with respect to the smaller hotels, they get a tremendous amount of business from within the Caribbean, and we've got to do a lot now to be able to recover from what happened in 2007, a big drop in business. Interregional travel declined by over 30% in 2007 due to the high cost of travel a worrisome situation for tourism officials. Dr. Heppel says to reverse that trend, consultation with various airliners, including LIAT, are vital. We've got to make some very strong efforts to try and bring in more business from within the region, which means working with, uh, not just with LIAT, but with Caribbean Airlines, American Eagle, and some of the other carriers to try and change that situation around. However, Dr. Heppel explains that St. Lucia has been receiving some positive publicity in important markets like North America and the United Kingdom. He says despite projected international pressures, the future looks bright for the island's tourism industry. We're being frequently listed on at the must-visit destinations in the region. And so we can build upon that, but we've just got to make sure that the product that we have here, security, the quality of service, the quality of uh, our retail environment, the food, all of that is consistent with this new higher upscale image that we're presenting. Dr. Heppel says the administration will implement some dynamic short and long-term strategies to improve the tourism product. He says it is also important to increase the awareness of the public on the importance of the tourism dollar to the economy in order for the tourism product to grow. Shannon Le Bonne, HDS News Channel 4.